Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Hybrid TSM QS. Throw things far with Hybrid Triple Strength Myomar. Okay, well I had to advance the timeline a little bit more than I thought. We got it, ended up with a bad, uh, and a, uh, um, I don't want to call it an encounter, but a, a bad uh, roll on the uh, uh, event table and uh, Venom ended up being um, ha worse off than normal. So I ended up paying whatever I could, it ended up being 100,000 to help uh, keep them alive. So um, their, uh, their time to get back is a little bit higher. We've lost two points off our medical temporarily here. So it took a while, a little while longer for Jenkins to get back. I think it ended up being, like, I don't know, another five or six days or something like that. So we're a little bit past where I'd like to be at this point. We're, I mean, we have enough to sell if I had to to get our uh, financial reports. I'm not a big deal. But uh, I'm hoping today we can pick up some good stuff because the... Missions refreshed, and we've got a base defense mission here. One and a half skull base defense mission against the Marian Hegemony, and I think we're going to take that one right now. 523 salvage. This should cover our damages, plus hopefully give us our financial report, plus whatever we can get out of here. Should be just fine. And I'm hoping we can pick up some, uh, um, some more quick sell stuff today, too. So, actually, let's go back. I'm wondering if we should switch out... Um, let's go to the vehicle or the mech bay really quick. We'll Welcome go and check out our vehicles here. So the fire truck is lighter. It's a five eight, but I think this is seven eleven. This is a little faster. Ninety armor on the front. So this guy's got marginally better armor, but I'm wondering if the the flamers and the fluid guns might be better. Well, I mean, we really got we've got the storm crow for that. Which, by the way, we lost the uh, one ton of Artemis ammo out of that, so I just replaced it with some Inferno. So we've got three tons of Inferno in there now, which is plenty. It's, it's like 15 turns of firing or whatever. I don't think we need to go that much, but if it lasts, like if our battles last a long time, it's definitely worth having that much in there. But, um, yeah, you know, I don't know. Because this way we can just shut shut down some mechs that we need to shut down, but we're not doing much damage here, right? I mean, it's a good well, way if we double team them with the Stormcrow and this guy to, to force people to bail out. That's if we land shots, though. That's the that's the tricky part, right? Hmm. Do we have any other vehicles we can put together? we got the Centurion we still haven't put together yet, too. That's the five, uh, five missile, two laser, one ballistic. It's actually not a bad chassis. I was actually thinking about actually putting this guy together and putting, uh, we have like five, four or five quick cell LRM fives that are one ton of pop. Thought about putting them in there. That might actually be an interesting loadout. We do have the scorpion though. Quick cell scorpion with the double AC twos. The regular scorpion with two large chem lasers. And a little bit more frontal armor, but less side armor. 4-6 movement though, so it's not really worth it. It's basically a sitting duck. Yeah, let's stick with what we have for now. I think we'll just go that route. Uh, command center, not barracks. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Okay, here we go. Well, we know this map. Leave immediately or be destroyed. Well, I don't think we're going to be... Well, we could be destroyed. Really depends on what they get, doesn't it? One and a half skulls? I mean... Yeah, they're right on top of us already. They're right on top of us already. We know they're going to have some guys here and down here, probably, so... Well, who knows? They may come in anywhere. Where the hell can I deploy? Holy crap, where the hell are these guys? Um, I think we need to be, like... I can't even deploy here. Holy shit. Um, how far... 
Hey, come on, I'm hitting alt. Why can't I, uh... Oh, I see. One. That's the panther. Stormcrow. Uh, Clint. I know we could technically start, technically start on top of each other, but I don't want to do that. Let's just do it like that. Hopefully that Stormcrow's not borked. But we'll see. Ooh, was that somebody right in the base? Did I see somebody standing right here? Oh shit, they're like right here. Hunchback FB. Bunch of machine guns. Yeah, what can I do you for? Wait, where did I see the direct? Right there. Do I want to tangle with that hunchback straight on, or do we want to... Oh, fuck's sake. Do I let him go, let him shoot a building? Uh, because he could put one into my back, though. Fuck's sakes, I gotta kinda... It's these two guys go before him. Who? And the vehicle will go before him, probably. Ah, shit. What kind of armor are we looking at? Silver bullet goss. Two pirate mediums and a tagger. Machine gun already two machine guns. Does a silver bullet goss have a minimum range? I can't remember. Either way, we can't be line like in line with one another because that silver bullet goss will uh, pass right by one and hit somebody else. Which is a short. AC5's inside minimum range, that's why. Not really that much better. I mean, the X pulses are better, but. Let's engage. I don't like this idea, but let's engage. What else do we have here? Fire starter either. Like three, there's four of them there. Scorpion LRM. Well, at least our vehicles are going to be moving unimpeded. Relatively. Target confirmed. Did that land? It did. Shit. Sorry about that. That was my bad. At least he's not uh, partially covered now. Waiting for orders. Thirty-seven percent chance to melee. I don't know what chance to hit there. God, it's terrible. It's terrible! Don't have much room on the jump. Ooh, can't get a flank on this guy, can we? Well, let's do this. We gotta spread out. Gotta spread out. Hopefully, we land with the streaks. Did a bit okay. We did, well, I mean, we did okay damage to the side here. All right, the streaks landed. Nice. Oh, he's not shooting. Where do we hit, though, with the streaks? 
CT. A little bit. Uh, it's spread everywhere. Uh, his other arm, too. Alright. Yes, Commander. Yeah, man. Fuck you. I, I think his back armor is actually not that bad. I think I think it's just the older hunchbacks that I think suffer from bad back armor. No, I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. All right, firing. Roger. Yes. Waiting for orders. It's me, E. Well, I'll take that shot. On my way. Maybe we can get a quick kill here. Quick kills with quick sell, baby. All the quick kills with quick sell. Enemy down. Gotta love that. Yeah, sleep near, baby. Get up here. I need targets for them to shoot at. <laughs> Ember! That's a lot of building damage. Could have been worse though. I can't remember what the Ember... Does he have... Is that heavy flamers and machine guns? I can't remember now. Man, I never remember what mechs have. Know thine enemy! Yeah, I have no idea. How much armor do you have? It's garbage. The mech is more dangerous, I think. So let's go after the mech. It's actually four energy, four ballistic. That's a pretty and two support. That's a pretty damn good loadout for a for a uh, thirty ton mech, a thirty five ton. Yeah, but look at our chance to hit on this thing. And I know this doesn't matter. Alright, let's warm them up. Engaging. Oh man, that's gonna be really nice when we get uh, against tougher opponents. Let's keep that guy running. Let's keep them running. Fire. Nice. There's our turrets. Nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's fire? two times in a row now they've stopped just before. Like you couldn't you couldn't put the the turbo boost on or whatever the hell you have. You couldn't do any of that stuff. Ready for orders. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Just go right here. Standing by. It's all me, by the way. It's not that. It has nothing to do with the game. It's all me. But you guys know that already. Let's Location. just hope he doesn't try and swing around behind me. We're going to take this shot. Yeah, there's a good chance. You see, even he's got a QS. He knows the deal. I mean, I mean, everybody knows the deal, right? Only dinosaurs aren't using QS. Firing full complement. Nice. Commander. Oh man, really? Fuck this guy. It's who? Don't shoot my own guy in the back, please. I have it. Nice. Quick sell when you need accuracy. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Oops. Why do I open my mouth? I'm hit. Bleeding. Four turns left, right? Shit. We're gonna get you up and uh, 
Gotta get you. Go get some bandages. We got bandages, don't we? We must have bandages somewhere. Orders. Let's um. Roger that. What did the uh, public enemy say? Oh yeah, shut him down. I caught. Ooh, that was like way worse than I thought it would be. Yes, finally. Getting out of the way of the turret, so if I can't. <laughs> That's why I moved down there. It's like, yeah, I don't want that turret after me. Yeah, shut him down, baby. Now. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. All right, what do we got over here? And where else? Ooh, that's a good question because I didn't see a dropship come in. So we've got zooming in. Looks like we got an Irby, fifty-nine. Another Hunchback, fire starter, and a flea. And there probably is guys down here, so I'm gonna get my make sure my back isn't turned that way. What's up, Commander? Okay, that guy's shut down. My back would be to the building. So let's do this. Piece of cake. So even if they are down there, they can't see my back because the building's in the way. We'll just shoot this guy in the, in the asteroid. Rear armor, it is. Ooh, freely. Those high percentage shots, man. You just Ready for orders. can't do them. Okay, let's get to here. Affirmative. I don't think that LRM carrier will shoot at us, but just want to angle a little bit towards him. Let's warm this guy up. Um, going for leg. Probably should have gone for head, but it's a little too late now. Shooting at the sniper turret. Light damage. Holding firm. Yes, Commander. As much as I want to make sure we get a... This is a quick sell kill. I would rather make sure this guy's gone. He's going on two, though. We got the vehicle, plus we got the... How badly damages his back? Hmm. Secure the kill. All right, I don't see anybody down here. Target lock on enemy rear. Oh hell yeah! There you go. Enemy down. So the silver bullet goss pirate might actually survive because we killed the engine. So this better not be it. They may not. I hope it's just not those four. So what are our turrets? Got a sniper turret. Spreading the acid, Joy. Standing by. There we go. Let's move. Yeah, let's toast this guy. Roger that. See ya. One less target. We have become death. Waiting for orders. All right. Um, four activations remaining. I don't see anything down there, so let's use our first aid. We'll sit still. Run around four. There's got to be... Is that it? Is it just these four guys? Maybe it is. I don't think I've ever had a match where it's... just been two lances. Waiting for orders. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever had a match that was just two lances? Because that's confusing to me. Oof, I can't get... Where is the vehicle? 
Where did the LRM guy go? It should be a red marker somewhere. Oh, he's... Well, that's the... Uh, never mind, it's the fire starter still here. we got to barbecue this guy anyway. Oh, he's over here. I don't know where the hell he went. I'm sure it's, like, obvious on the board there. I just can't see him. Let's just roast this guy. Ah, uh, let's try for a head plank. Fuck, he's not doing anything. Receiving you. Nope, trees please. Let's engage. Let them know we're here. If it's just them... What would be neat for these missions? Because, I mean, I know they get reinforcements on turn 3 or 4, whatever it is. Firing. What would kind of be cool is, is if they get two reinforcement lances, but you don't know what they get. Or when they're dropping. So they could drop on... Someone could drop on turn 1. And they just drop randomly, so each one will drop differently. Stop. So you start the battle, Just they've got one lance in combat. Go. The second one could drop in on turn one or to whatever. But the longer they wait, the more difficult the lance gets. So by the time you get to, to turn ten, to whatever lance drops in on turn ten is like, you know, maybe like, maybe, I don't know, total like a two, two skulls more difficult or something like that. Wait, is this the only guy left? Oh yeah, because we killed the vehicle. What? What? I swear to God, guys. It was like last turn. I killed the vehicle, and I'm like wondering where the vehicle is. <laughs> oh my God. Living with ADHD. Firing all weapons. The Cobra Strike. Yes, baby. Quick sell. They're Come just too go. afraid to stand against you. All right, yeah, not. <laughs> it's not that your allies had uh, com completely cooked the mech so that the the armor is like melting off it like water. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> I wonder what it would take. How much microwave affected? Searchlight affected? Cool. Good to go. Yeah, you're good, man. You just stay right there. Wait a minute, that's it bleeding out three activations remaining. Is first aid not guaranteed? Systems holding. I have to read that next time. Remind me. Remind me next round. The memory of a freaking goldfish. And that's not true, because apparently goldfish actually have pretty good memories. Most fish apparently have good memories. Surprisingly. It's just imprinting, though. Like, I mean, honestly, the creature wouldn't live if it didn't have a half decent memory, you know? Yeah, it just wouldn't. It, what, it's gonna forget where the food is? Location confirmed. It's like, oh shit, there's no food anymore. I don't know where to go to get food. Uh, short range. Medium range is what? 50 50. It's actually a pretty good chance of the fire star, though. What's it? 30 cents. So the pulses go up, but the AC goes down. Let's go for a well-balanced approach. Ooh, everything hit. That looks like a pretty good spread. Yeah, it drops down here. I'm out of short -range missiles. That's alright. Oh, I didn't go down there. That's alright. Ready for orders. That's alright. Not being able to see your enemy though, that's kind of like suckage. Let's just get up here. We'll drop some heat this turn. We've already killed R2. Leave it up to the rest of the people to do theirs. Three activations remaining. So, it was three last turn as well. Let's keep going. Waiting for orders. I'm actually starting to see... Oh, that guy's in trouble. I'm actually starting to learn and see things, guys. Oh, shit. We want to lay the mine layer down. That's a 
pretty good loadout though, but we could do significant damage to him. Or do we want to go here? He's got two heavy flamers. Bolt on and cinder each time three. Let's go this route. I'm out of SRM. That's a pretty good cluster. Hopefully that contributes to salvage. We'll see. So that's the mortar from the R-59. Ooh, nice shot. That's a mortar 8, though. Nice shooting, man. That's the hunchback, right? It is. What am I doing? I'm screwing the map up again. Don't let me use my mouse. Someone take the mouse away from me. All right. Um, Good to go. So my wife always says, "Take the mouse away from that guy. Take it away from him. He's got to come for dinner." Hmm. Can't get the guy we want. We'll get the guy we can get. We'll go after the hunchback next turn. I'm gonna try and maximize salvage from this, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep up with the heat, I think. Got it. It doesn't affect him too too much because he doesn't really have much on him. Although those heavy flamers, I think they they're like is it ten heat a pop or fifteen heat a pop? They're pretty uh heat heavy. Minor, yeah, you keep trying to apply stuff to that stealth. That thing is like so heat good, so heat neutral it's ridiculous. Oof. See ya. RL20. He's gone. Well, this will be quick. Ready for order. This will be quick. That's what she said. Short range targeting on the flea. Oh, you're in Thunderbolt range. I really ap I apologize for this, but uh, here you go. Oh, <laughs> that's some punishment right there. Report critical hit. Hopefully he runs back through the minefield. I'm here. Actually, I could try to finish him off here. Can I get in there? Yeah, and stealth's pretty good for armor right now, so... If I miss and hit the stealth, we'll... Okay. I mean, we don't want to do that, but... Alright. Mech is on. What's Fire! I don't really want the flea, so... Let's kiss him goodbye. See ya. Half file removed. Receiving you. I removed so much as removed. Let's go down to here. Full speed. No target. Their last album was better than their last album. All right, let's take a shot at this guy. Should market that sound to deaf people. Firing on target. Stay toasty, baby. Stay toasty. And stay on fire. That urban mech's trying to move out of the f out of the firing line. He's like, nah, I'm the only person that can do damage. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm really shocked that, uh... I'm really shocked that they only got one extra lance. I've had it before where they've had two lances to start. And then got two more on turn four. Orders. I don't know where we're gonna get the best. Probably going this way. Roger that. Full speed. Full speed it is. I think we replaced the Clint with a hunchback. Yeah, 50% chance just to take the shot. Why not? Nice. 
That's it for long range missiles. Yeah, he's panicking too. Nice. See if we can get him to bail out. It might be worth uh, grabbing the FB version. Standing by. Let's uh, warm this guy up a little bit. You don't look like you're melting enough. There you go. That helps you out a little bit. That hit something good. I'm ready. It's me, E. Um. Yeah. Well. Oh. Wait. Uh, let's do shift. Hey. Why can't I? Uh. It won't let me... Oh, there it will. Maybe You know what? That's full move. That's why. That would make sense. Right, because that takes a different... Okay. Makes perfect sense. Can't shift because that's the extent of my movement. That's alright. Take a pot shot at this guy. See if we can get him to bail. Bon appetit. That hit something good. That with that introduction of that um, shotgun to that panther, oof, he's not having a good day. Not having a good day. Receiving you. Yeah, with the introduction of the shotgun on the panther, it's um, it's really uh, up the um, the damage potential for the quick sell. Nope, he's gone. Hunchback just went down. Pilot incapacitated. Yeah, I know. Yes, Commander. R W double R. Um, how many mines? Twelve. I'll take the twelve for the turn. I'm gonna end this fast. Eight exploded. How much damage did we take? 14, 12, all right. Fair enough. That guy's fast. He might only have this turn. Ooh, nice shot. Right here. So not bad damage. He's going to stay behind that hill probably, but we'll move up here to cover in case he sticks his nose out. We're going to send the uh, stealth around to flush him out. Uh, well. Not the best chance to hit, but we are going to switch our ammo around. Because I don't want parts of this guy. Should be able to just shift and click, shift and click. Not bad. The rockets on him. Get as much damage in as we can early. Okay, some stuff is open. Head hit. Bleeding out. Standing by. You just stay there, buddy. You did your job today. I'm receiving you. Mm, let's minimize the damage we're going to take. We'll go around this way. Just go around this way. Come on, sleep near. Do something. Apparently not. Ordered. Not today, he said. Ooh. We'll take that back shot. Gotcha. Could have gone for the side, but... Let's see if we can core this guy. Got the angle. Take the shot. Well, we can strip all his armor, that's for sure. We might as well strip all his armor off before we kill him. Waiting for orders. I mean, there's no point in, like, letting him have some armor, right? It's not really about the, you know, the point of stripping the armor. It's about sending a message, right? It's the message is we could kill you at any time, but we want to just extend your pain. Wait. Oh. 
Did he... I don't even know what happened to him. Maybe moving while injured or something? Possibility. Mission successful. You know, I was right in the, I was getting right in the middle of my version of the Princess Bride speak speech to the pain, but it, apparently he started hearing me go off, and he's like, "Oh fuck, I'm out of here," and he and he just decided to to end the match. So that was completely unsatisfying. To the pain, baby, not to the death. To the pain. All right. Well, we did pretty well there, but we we didn't really have that much uh, in the way of opponents. So, okay. So hunchbacks, FB. Two FB parts. I was actually shocking. I thought I was only going to get one. Now, storage-wise, what do we have? Hunchback. We have a 5L. That's the laser back. So sh I'm going to take two of these because it's compatible with that. And I could take the other two and have two hunchbacks. But we can't. I mean, I don't have the ability to put a, a lance together yet. Bolt on incendiaries. That's four tons, though. Medium pulse laser is not bad. Although we are starting to move up to the point where we don't necessarily need that. Now I should probably, if I'm going to run with the silver bullet, so it's a recoil of one. Cluster of seven projectiles, right, I know that. 35% jam chance, 35% chance to misfire when firing in scrap mode. Jam modifiers to mitigate. What's scrap mode? Our alternate fire modes can damage this weapon. So it does... So you can fire it without damaging it. That's interesting. I'm going to drop it there for now. See what else is down here. Not a lot, looks like. Double heat sink kit. How are we doing for double heat sink kits? We've got one still. We have double heat sinks? We've got two extra. Heavy industrial armor. I mean, it's not the quick sell version. But it is three times carrying weight as opposed to two and a half, but it doesn't give us the other benefits of the uh, quick sell version. We'd have to take Goss ammo. That's what, eight shots or ten? Eight shots. And this fires one round per shot, right? Because it doesn't say it fires more. Okay, so it's eight turns of firing. Hmm. Typhon ammo, which is AoE. So more damage dealt to armor. Target takes 0.5% more damage for two turns. It does stack. So the more you hit with this thing, the more that goes up. So you're better off like having a massive amounts of LRMs and Typhon ammo. How much ammo? 120 shots? So like an LRM 60, you land half your shots. He's taking 30% more damage for two turns. That's definitely worth it. So this is technically like acid ammo, I guess. Less damage to structure. It's actually not bad. Hmm. I mean, we're going to get more opportunity to get those. And we have... And I'm pretty sure we have some Pharaoh as well. So if we're putting together the Hunchback, we can do that. Oh, AC-20 Myrdern. What was this on? Was that on the other Hunchback here? And it just wasn't working? I think so. Hunchbacks with rocket. Hmm. Jam chance, but not misfire chance. You know what? Let's grab this. Now, I don't think there was any ammo for it down here. I think we cooked off the ammo. Yeah. But at least we got the, 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 the AC-20. I don't think you can use various types of AC-20 ammo with this, though. Like, it doesn't work with, like, incendiary or things like that, I don't think. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know. I'm pretty sure it only works with standard ammo. 
I might be wrong. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, I think we go that route. And if we get these guys, great. If we don't, well, I feel comfortable about what we chose. Because that'll give us a Centurion, a Hunchback. Yeah, let's do that. All right, well, we've got our fire, two fire starter pieces, the different versions, which is nice. The Flea, Heavy Wheeled APC, don't really care about. Any more Hunchbacks? No, we've got Urban Mech version. We've got, we picked up that. The Mortar 8, nice. That can go. That can go. The 160 core. Hmm... Let's just hold on to it for now. 19 heat sinks, though. Those can definitely go. We've got the industrial armor. Nice. We don't need the jump jets, I don't think. We've got 12. The mask. I had the... I, I do have the mask still. I had it on the commando, I think, for a while. And I just never used it. Because I always forget to turn it on and off. So we've got one. So let's just sell this one. What's it worth? 1.2 million. Yeah, so that'll give us a good chunk of cash. That'll give us good cash right there. Those two engines. Structure can go. So we didn't do too, too bad out of that. So I guess one of the good things about having, like, the maximum sort of date installed, so like 30, what is it, 3125 or 3135 or whatever, the Dark Ages or whatever, is that you get massive amounts of, like, variety of mechs and vehicles and stuff like that, but also that's, I think, part of a, an issue. So if you're looking for something specific... It makes it even harder and harder to find that thing, you know. So, like, I'm talking about, like, a specific type of mech, right? So if you need certain chassis of a mech, it just makes it harder and harder to find it because you just have, like, a much larger variety of stuff that could possibly show up, making the percentage of you finding the thing that you specifically want pretty small. But, I mean, that's fine. I mean, we're, we're, I think we're, I don't know. I, I'm enjoying it this new, um, this new date because... Of, because of the variety, the different types of mechs I'm facing, it's not always the same challenge, which is nice. So let's have a look here in the barracks, or uh, mech bay first. So I think we want to try and move the Clint out. So I'm going to have to repair. we got 1.2 million. So how much is it to repair this guy? It's going to refit here. Just going to repair it, I think, and then we'll put it in storage. And I'm probably going to put the Quicksell Commando in storage for now. We'll bring it back out a little later. Because I think we want to try and have a full quick sell lance. So if we just repair this guy, 48k and three days, and if we strip the gear, well, it'll strip off when we put it in storage. It's probably easier to do it that way. That's just something we want. Like this, perhaps. Actually, let's just strip the gear. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it doesn't really add much. Yeah, see... I don't know what the original armor on this thing was, but it was pretty darn low. Uh, anyway, let's um, confirm that. We'll oh, get that fixed, and then we can put that in storage. Time. Let's put you in storage for now. Yep, we'll bring it back later. And then let's have a look. Because I think we should get the uh, this guy. One ballistic, two laser. I don't know, though. This guy's 11 laser. One ballistic. So this... If I'm going to... So they're both 50 tons, though. If I'm going to run this, what's this? So heavy gun or right torso accuracy after 20, 20 uh, missions. What is the centurion? Shield bearer, better armor damage or defense. And bonus accuracy right arm. So this is because the weapon's in the torso. We got minus one act. Oh, this this gives them also minus one recoil. So it's minus one accuracy for being in the torso. If you have it in the arm of the centurion, you're starting off with plus one accuracy. So the hunchback won't gain its accuracy till turn twenty, and then this will be plus two accuracy anyway on turn twenty. So this is probably the better bet of the two. I mean, we're not, we don't have really recoil reduction, but I do have a mod that adds recoil reduction. So let's put the Centurion together instead. I mean, we can always bring this, let's bring this guy forward first. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. 
9H2. Okay. Let's have a look here. Yeah, it doesn't have much, does it? That's all right. It doesn't have anything, does it? Except for a bunch of damaged heat sinks and some damaged rockets. Pair all, max armor. So it didn't doesn't have a primitive engine, which is good, good news for us. So if we go, this is a 50 tonner, right? Do we have a 250 core? See, we got the recoil mount we can use. Do we have a 250? No, but we have a 270. That's a 5.8, which is incorrect. No, it's, that's correct. Yeah, it is correct. And it's going to be a 4.6 here if we do this one, or 4.7 probably. 5.7. Really? With a 2.40? I guess so. If we go with the 2.40. Actually, what's, what is it without... 29 days and 413,000. Let's just strip the gear. Oh, yeah, plus we're maxing out the armor, that's why. So maybe we don't max the armor out. Let's go back and actually... I should just reset. I do that so often, I just completely forget. So repair all. Strip equipment. 23 days. And then we can figure things out after that. But I mean, we got two lasers in the center torso and a ballistic in the arm. So we could go... So here's my thought. Right? If we try to, if like, we've got the silver goss for a reason, so let's try and get that worked in. It's already going to be difficult because it's 14 tons. Right? How much is this way? It's 14 as well. So I don't know. It's going to be tough to max out the armor on this, but we're going to go with Endo. We're going to go with Pharaoh. I mean, we could put the Clan XL in, but then we're like, well, it's not too, too bad. 1.8 million. We have to get that 1.8. We have to get the uh, money to do it, but. That's a little better, although for 700,000 we may want to wait. We could put in, where's the 240 core? We'll go with the 240. I mean, really we want the, yeah, that's fine. 240 core is fine. What are we dealing with for weight now? We've still got like 10 tons. We haven't maxed the armor though. Just for the sake of argument, let's just max it. So we got five tons left over. So not a lot. We need ammo. We've only got a ton of ammo, unfortunately. Well, we got a double goss. We gonna need more than a ton? Probably not. Let's just go with a ton to start. Two lasers. I mean, we could go with the two X pulses and the CT, and then we'd be done. You know. It would be nice though, so we could find like an Ultra 10 or something, or an LBX 10. Drop four tons off of the arm. And then with the extra four tons, figure out what we do here. Or if we do, like, I mean, we could just go with... We don't have an AC5 here, but if we had an AC5, it's eight tons. So if we put the AC5 here, it's 8 tons. That brings us to 40. And with 10 tons left, we could go... Um, try something a little bit... crazier. Because that's an LRM20 for 4 tons. Right? It's minus 3 to accuracy, but still an LRM20 for 4 tons. <laughs> so... LRM25, grab some ammo, right, we still need to add 8 tons onto that, 12 tons onto that because the 2x pulses, so that puts us, yeah, without ammo, that puts us at our max, we have to pull that out, I mean, that's the other option too, so we would have basically the same loadout as the Clint, with the bonus of 5 of these uh, quick sell LRMs with, you know, minus 3 to all attacks, but if we go with area effect, like if we try to, if we use Hydra, go with area effect damage. I don't think chaff, is it AOE? I 
I mean, we could spread it up a bit. Like, we could go with, like, some half tons and fire multiples. So the Hydra we would fire as a 40. Or a 20, I mean, all of them at once. All or nothing. We got six shots of that. And then the chaff, we could fire, like, you know, two are firing, two are firing sensors, two are firing chaffs, or two with mag pulse and one with sensors, one with chaff. You know, that's the other option. Or we could go with an Artemis system and throw in some Artemis. That'll at least reduce the, uh, the bad chance to hit at the quick cell. You know, could go this route. Although, now that I said that, as long as we can jam something in here, we'll get some weight back. Because these are all primitive. Right? Now we just need a basic... We don't have a basic cockpit, unfortunately. I'll have to remember to grab one of those. But even with a basic cockpit in here, now that would be another ton back. So we do have the weight to drop another LRM in. Opening up possibilities, perhaps. No, we wouldn't have to wait. Because we have to add 12 tons right now. For these two and the uh, AC-5. Hmm. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. It's actually not a bad build. I mean, it's 10 tons heavier than what we have now. So it's got more armor. And we're basically... I think we have a cockpit on our uh, Clint. We're basically adding four LRM-5s and armor to the Clint. It's about the same movement speed, too. I'm actually kind of liking that. Let's go back to this. And we'll do some repairs. And strip it again. Let's get that started. Yeah, I know. Get it started, baby. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Because I can't... I think we've got... I can't remember what we have in his head. We've got something in there. I'm not... I don't want to stop work because I'm going to lose C-bills that way, but... Actually, let's find out. we got one day. Let's find out. Oh. Hmm. No. You got to get out of the mech bay, buddy. We cannot have, uh... Oh, you got gain dependable, did you? Ah, nice. Excellent. We can't have you mucking around in there. I don't want to reduce the, uh, repair time on anything. Alright, so the Clint... Just before we go here. Yeah, we have the comm suite. And the Predator. So, I mean, we could... If we use the Clinton direct fire rule, rather than putting the Artemis system in, because we're only getting one, like avoiding one evasion, if we're firing at long range with those LRMs and the multiple targeting, we put the Predator system in and we can switch back and forth between, yeah, that's probably the better choice because we're going to probably at least get plus two to hit. Which will still make the missiles minus one to hit, but I mean... Yeah, I I think I'm I'm actually not opposed to that. I think we try that. I think it's probably worth it. And then we can put the Thunderbolt on there, the Advanced Zoom on there. I'm, I'll probably switch this one out with the uh, the Advanced Zoom Mark III on the either the Stealth or the uh, Panther, just so we had the extra little bit of range. I mean, it's only good for. Cause I think it goes out to like eleven. Or is it, it's 1080 meters, I think. And the LRMs don't fire that far. I think they're only, I think, think they're around 800 as well, 890, I think it is. So it, it helps a little bit, but not much. But still, the Thunderbolt goes a little farther, though, doesn't it? You know, it's only 840. Yeah, we just move everything from here over to the other one. Because this is a 240 core, too, I think. Isn't it? 220. The mine dispenser, hopefully we can fit it in. If we can't, we'll put it on something else, but. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good compromise. I was hoping to use the the uh, hunchback, but the centurion will work even better. So that's great. All right, well I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and please go check out the Quicksell we website. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>